Without a doubt, no team was in the news more this offseason than the New Orleans Saints. Unfortunately for them, they were in the news for all the wrong reasons. I'm talking, of course, about the bounty scandal that broke, revelations that coaches have been paying players, possibly payer, players paying other players for big hits, card offs, taking players out of games. Basically, this is the type of thing that's gone on in the NFL for as long as there has been an NFL, but it's usually kept under wraps. Came to the surface, obviously, in this instance. A lot of it had to do with a documentary filmmaker who was allowed in one of the Saints meeting rooms prior to their game with the San Francisco 49ers in the playoffs last year, a game the Saints eventually lost, by the way. But anyway, once it all hit the fan, the ramifications were far-reaching. Head coach Sean Payton suspended for the entire season, for this entire season. Same for middle linebacker Jonathan Vilma, one of the best players on defense. Joe Vitt, their interim coach, he's suspended for the first six games of the season. So who knows what to, what to make of this? Who knows what effect it's going to have on the Saints this year? I know one thing. So long as Drew Brees is running that offense, I'm not going to want to be betting against the Saints too often. These Saints were 13-5 and five against the spread last year, if you include playoff games. They know how to cover. They have the best offense in the league, ranked number one last year in total offense, number one in passing offense. And again, they got Brees back. They've got their key weapons back. True, Sean Payton is gone, but Drew Brees knows Sean Payton's offense backwards and forwards. I believe they'll be able to get through this because of Drew Brees. Now, the Saints had a leaky defense last year. As I said, one of their better players, middle linebacker Jonathan Vilma, will not be playing this year. They did go out in free agency and sign a couple of linebackers. Curtis Lofton, who started last year at Atlanta. David Hawthorne, who started last year at Seattle. They'll be welcome additions to that defense. Will they be enough to turn it into a solid unit or even something better than mediocre? I have my doubts, but is it really important when you have an offense like the Saints? I'm not sure it is. The Saints are the class of the NFC South. I expect them to be again this year, even though, again, a lot of people are doubting them because of the losses, because of the suspension of Sean Payton. Knowing the way Drew Brees has operated the last couple of years, I expect this team to use that as motivation. Currently, they are at 22-1 to in Vegas to win the Super Bowl, which I think is an excellent number, 19.5-1 to on bet deck. This is actually... The only team, one of the only teams, currently has shorter odds on BetDAC than are being offered in Vegas. So, hey, I, I tend to agree more with the people on BetDAC here. I think 22 to 1 is a, a bit of a big number for this team. As a matter of fact, I think they're an excellent value to win the Super Bowl at 22 to 1. I understand there's some uncertainty surrounding them, but I have faith in Drew Brees, this offense is, that's in place. They'll outscore enough people for another berth in the postseason, and then who knows? Anything could happen.